you, today I have another fall haul for you. This one is from H&M and Lulu's. Now this is part of a new series I'll be doing called Unboxing Sundays, where about once a month, I'll take whatever I'm getting in the mail and unbox it with you, and I can talk about why I bought it, and you can get my first impressions and first reactions. But I thought, hey, we'll just do one big haul, and I can show you all of the things I'm getting for some of my fall styling videos coming up. But first, if we haven't met yet, I'm Jules, and if you're like me and you like fashion style and shopping, then we should totally be friends. I upload one to two videos every week and would love if you would consider subscribing. All right, so I have so much to get through and I don't really know where to start. So I'm just gonna start by taking all of these off the desk. One trend that is going to be super in, oh, this came with a disclaimer. This is a quality fabric. Due to the delicate nature of this fabric, please handle with care. Oh my gosh, okay. Um, anyway, so one of the big trends that we're going to see returning this fall in a even more, more, even more, to an even bigger extreme is leather. And so if you haven't gotten a pair of like leather Spanx yet, then, you know, jump on that bandwagon because everyone is buying them. I have tried knockoff versions and they're just not as good. So these say to handle delicately. So this is a leather pencil skirt. It's not real leather, vegan leather. It's a little sticky. Okay, hopefully that looks better soon. Because right now it probably just looks like a garbage bag. So I got this as a way to bring the leather trend into work. I made sure to size up because I don't want it to be a really tight leather skirt for work. But I'll link everything down below in the description box so you can check it out along with my sizing notes too. We have a pair of shoes. But I'm really excited to try these ones out. I'm not sure if they'll work. I heard mixed reviews on the sizing. Here they are. Look how cute those mules are. I love the um, this detailing on here. They go up a little bit higher, which I like, kind of keeps the mule on your foot. I'm really liking Lulu's accessories. I think some of the stuff at Lulu's can be a bit pricey, but they have really good affordable accessories, including their shoes. And these aren't the only pair of shoes I got. And then the last thing in this box is a bag. I love, love, love new bags. So here's the bag. It has this little thing that you open it up with, which, you know, we'll see how much I use that. Okay, and then it looks like we lift up, down, turn, turn. You know, it was a pretty inexpensive bag and sometimes I just like to have a collection of bags that I can grab depending on what type of outfit I'm wearing or what kind of look I'm going for. And I don't always want to spend a lot of money on a bag. There are definitely times, oh, there's a knot. Ugh, I'll fix that later. If you're looking for a way to look classy and still save money, I think there are a lot of great sort of like inspired by designer bag bags out there. All right, box number one is done. You know, let's go to H&M now. So this, whoa, is huge. All right, so this is, oh my gosh. They couldn't fold this. I definitely have a color theme for this fall. Do you ever get into like moods where you're like picking the same color over and over again? Um, that is me right now with beige, which when I say it sounds so boring, but I love just different hues of neutrals and beiges and tans. So this is kind of a dusty pink jacket. I got a four. Sometimes I'm a six at H&M. Mm, I think the shoulders should be okay. But it is pretty long, so we'll see how it looks on. But this is like a long um, lapel-less jacket or coat, I guess you would call this. This is long enough to be a coat. And I just thought it would look really nice, not only for work, but just to, again, dress up an everyday outfit. I'm like saying the same thing over and over again. But then also on the back, it has this really pretty pleat in the middle and it's closed right now here at the bottom and it just kind of opens up. So it's kind of an unstructured coat, but it's just gonna be really pretty for fall. I feel like this is Christmas. I'm just like opening up a bunch of boxes in front of you. So this next thing is a waist belt. Yeah, you can see that. So this is a waist belt. If you watched my recent fall haul from Amazon, I talked about how waist belts, especially with blazers, are going to be really in this fall. So to 
stock up on a brown one and a black one. Okay, now this one I'm really excited for. This was, when I first learned that the package was lost, this was one of the things I was kind of sad I wasn't getting and was gonna reorder. Glad I didn't do that because I eventually got it. Definitely needs a steam, but it is this blouse. It is kind of a cream and dark red. I wouldn't call it red, I wouldn't call it maroon. It's just a dark red. Um, geometric pattern. So patterns like this are perfect for fall and especially this color palette. Cream is really big for fall. This will look really cute with jeans, but you can also wear it to work. I like to get things that can go from work to weekend and also still look really cute and fashionable. So I'm really excited about this one. Hopefully it fits. It looks like it might be a little short. All right, and then the last thing I got from H&M, which is kind of funny now because I didn't think I was going to be getting this. It's another <laughs> tan beige crossbody bag. <laughs> this was the one I originally ordered. The Lulu's one was one I ordered after when I thought I wasn't getting this. So it has, again, kind of the turn style kind of like this bag does here. So the turnstile, you open it, you know, it's got your basic pockets. Seems like a good width. And then I like this chain because you can change it. Oh, it's got this little plastic thing here, so I can't change it right now. But you could make it a, oh, yes I can. But you can make it an arm bag. So I kind of like that feature. I, I do like kind of this double chain feature when it's double like this, it's definitely dressier. Which one do you like better? I'll be honest, I'm pretty sure these are the same price. Let me know which one you think I should keep in the comments below because I'm torn. This one definitely matches this jacket better. Like look how pretty those two are together. So this last box is from Lulu's again. And I do have a code if you want from Lulu's. It's down below in the description box. That'll get you $20 off your first purchase of $50. So next we have another pair of shoes because I just can't help myself and sometimes I can't decide what I want. All right, so then these are leopard flats. They're just kind of your simple pointed toe. They look a lot like the feather loafers from by Steve Madden. Um, I have those in black and they these look really similar but way worse quality. But I really wanted to try these. They smell kind of weird. I don't know. My toes feel a little crammed in them. The, the Steve Madden ones are so comfortable and they really kind of stretch to fit your foot while at the same time keeping that really slim pointed toe line. But these are really cute and trendy. And they're a lot cheaper than the Steve Madden ones. This is a sweater, which I'm really excited about. It's supposed to be really nice. It was kind of ex expensive for such a simple sweater. So here it is. It is literally just a basic cream sweater, but it is really soft. And that's what the review said. I looked at a few different cream colored sweaters because I'm really into cream right now. Cream and beige. Such a colorful, interesting lifestyle. But I thought it'd be really great for work as it's really easy to dress up or dress down. I'm gonna link my Amazon fall haul that I did right here. I think you're really gonna like it. But I really hope you like these unboxing slash haul videos. Let me know what you think of this format down in the comments below. But please give this video also a like if you liked it as that helps me decide whether or not to keep doing this series. So thank you so much again for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye!